Our next two awards honor individuals who have distinguished themselves as teachers, instructors, administrators, or washroom benefactors, and who also have given service to the community or their chosen profession. The first is the Colonel John Ritchie Award, which honors a male who has served Washburn for many years. Tonight, that award goes to Richard Vaughn. Richard has built a multi-decade career in executive channel sales, serving currently as National Partner Sales Manager with ASUS Computer International since March 2023. He was Senior Director of U.S. Channel Sales at Dynabrook Americas, which was formerly Toshiba America Information Systems from 2021 to 23, and also worked for UX2D and Security First. He started his channel sales career at Toshiba America starting in 1997 and leaving the company after 19 years in 2016 as channel, as director of channel sales. CRN Magazine named him one of the most, the 50 most influential channel chiefs of 2016. Richard has served the Washington Alumni Association and Foundation as a trustee and director and Alumni Association board member and past president. Uh, friend and fraternity brother, Albert Holte, said this of Richard. You have always been a go-to kind of guy, and over the years you have always had my back. Your contributions to Washburn and Alpha Delta are just a couple of your many honorable endeavors. And Albert's wife, um, Anne, agrees, adding, Richard is a person willing to step up and help the Nicobot in need. Fraternity brother Mark Ross commented, your service over the years on the Washburn Alumni Association Board of the direct of Directors, along with your extremely generous scholarship support for Alpha Delta students and other areas of campus have been exemplary. Even with your busy career, you still find time to give back to Washburn and the community and your numerous contributions will have a lasting positive impact for many years in the future. Richard, for your dedication to your career and to Washburn, we are honored to present you the Colonel John Ritchie Award. Uh, first off, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I love that as president, I didn't have a chance to uh, Susie does an outstanding job. You can see it in this room, you can see it around the campus. All the trips, so thank you very much. <laughs> Susie sent me a note back in May, and I had to read it a few four or five times. I sent her notes in my shirt. And uh, so uh, I've actually sat in this room for 10 years or so, and I've seen some very honorable uh, recipients in the past, and I thank you for the recognition. I do want to thank some people that are here tonight. Uh, we have my wife, Nancy, uh, we met here uh, our freshman, well, my sophomore year, freshman year. Uh, my sister, Jennifer, uh, her husband, Eric, my uh, nephew, Evan, I'm going around the room, so I'm not saying my My daughter-in-law, uh, Leilani, and uh, my son, Eric, my daughter, who couldn't be here tonight. Of the seven of us here, I'm proud to say that five of them are Washington graduates. Uh, so we're going to ask you to take Two graduates that couldn't be here tonight. So, uh, Nancy's mother, or my mother in law, and then her stepsister, Diane. Um, you know, Washburn wasn't my first choice. Uh, Jennifer and I grew up in a family that was a K State family. Our dad uh, was the first to graduate high school in his family, he was the first to graduate college. He installed in us that, you know, education was going to be extremely important, and that we needed to, to do something beyond high school. So when I graduated high school, I went off to Kansas State. I was telling Dr. Mazacek uh, when I was there that uh, um, it, it's a different experience. Washburn is a different experience than what Kansas State was. Um, so my freshman year at K-State, everything was great, mechanical engineering. Uh, I wanted to do something more. I wanted to, to serve. So I joined the Kansas Air National Guard uh, as a freshman in 1982, which wasn't a very popular decision back in 1982. So my summer between uh, my freshman and my sophomore year, while all my friends were having fun, I was in San Antonio in June and July. And then I went to Biloxi, Mississippi, which is actually in San Antonio. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for 
for July and August. Uh, now, remember, this is 1983 at this time. There's no cell phones, right? So I get back two weeks ready before school starts. My dad said, mm, "Not gonna happen." Go, "What's up?" Well, I got to do a five-year land on here, no place to live. So I was presented with two choices: I could sit out of here, uh, or I could uh, go to Washburn for a year. So, not reluctantly, I went to Washburn, uh, and right before school started, I started at, the, uh, at Sears, part-time job. That's where I actually met Nancy. We actually went to the same high school, didn't know each other, pretty shiny. And I met a, a friend of mine, Jim Zimmerman, and unfortunately Jim can't be here, but uh, Jim's a, a good supporter of the Alumni Association as well, too. So Jim took me under his arm, said, hey, I've got some place I want you to go to. So we went to Alpha Delta. And that's where I met a bunch of great friends. I met Albert, Mark, and then I bet I've got a friend here who's probably the furthest travel. Uh, how many people from out of state? Raise your hand. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, how, what's the first? Anybody from California? All right. Anybody travel more than 90,000 miles to get here? <laughs> <laughs> he, he says it wasn't this. I know he came here for this. <laughs> so Tom actually came all the way from Australia to be here. So I went back and I'm not, I think about Jim, and that was really it was a small act of kindness. So I was back and bring him back to the small act of kindness. He wanted to show me what home was, and that's what I found out. Uh, I, I couldn't believe the reception that I received and, and how great it was. Um, there were some, some very great Alpha Deltas that uh, have been here, and I know there's a lot of them here in the room, too. I'm really thankful that you guys are here tonight. Um, I talk about Jeremy by growing up in a, in a middle class family. Our parents grew up in the Great Depression, and that impacted every decision that they made our entire lives. The one thing they kept telling us is that high school was not the end. You had to go to college, or at least go on to do something different, and you, know, you, you, had, you had to continue your education. So the years after we finally graduated, some of us in three or four years. Um, we would often have conversations with each other about you know, how important education was. And as we had uh, our two children, we continued to talk to them about how important education was. Um, and Nancy actually proved that because she decided to go back to college uh, and get a degree in nursing, uh, all by raising two teenagers. Uh, we lived on a small hobby horse farm and she got to do all the chores um, because uh, I was out traveling uh, the world at that point. And she had a 4.0, so I think she was a very great uh, representation of what hard work really does. Uh, I need to thank Mark Ross. I'm not sure where Mark was. He was sitting behind me when we were somewhere. Who about Walt? Mark introduced me to, 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 to uh, the Alumni Association. Asked me if I wanted to join and participate in the Alumni Association. Um, that, that made a major impact on me because being able to serve, I think I was on a menu to replace somebody. Um, you know, you not only learned about your alumni association, but you learned about the university. And at that time, we didn't really know about the foundation. We were running the foundation at that time. And we got to spend a lot of time understanding what donors did to help move Washington forward. And we come back and we'd have those conversations. I'd say, you know, it's, it's amazing the work that the foundation is doing. What can we do? So as we sat down and talked about what we wanted to do, it really came down to creating pathways for students to be successful at Washington. So we sat down with our gift officer, uh, created several different scholarships on the product center, most of which will continue today. Um, and we wanted to set them up not to be like a fund for the best students, for the best grades, uh, the highest test scores. We wanted it to be something that you know, we just wanted them to continue on school. Uh, we didn't care what the grades were. We just wanted to be very commitment to Going on. And I'm proud to say that we helped with a lot of uh, very nice students. And I know I'm going long, but I did have one story to share because it, it impacted me the most. Um, so uh, this was an Alpha Delta. Um, we uh, selected to go to the School of Business. And we met with him, he was a senior. So a little bit different because we've always been working with freshmen. He had 15 hours left, so we presented him the scholarship. 
You broke down the square peg. Yeah, it should be to the core right now. It's, you know, it's not a huge deal. It's a pretty nice skill. But he wasn't going to be able to finish it. And so that one little act of kindness allowed him in the faith to continue on. And he graduated. So uh, it's amazing what the whole thing did for people. So you know, our hope is that you know, as we continue to give and we want to continue to help students, is that you know, they start breaking up when they're when they're able to. That small acts of kindness really make an impact uh, to someone. And hopefully, you know, they maybe get back to Washington or get back to the causes of the So uh, again, I want to thank you, thank you, Susie, thank you for the nice words, and I thank you very much.